The obelisk that stands tall in the middle of St. Peter's Square is not the only thing that takes visitors' attention during Christmas. Every December, the Vatican sets up its own Christmas crib. And even though for years the same figures are used, there's always some creativity to be seen. Apparently, there was nothing special about the Vatican's nativity scene back in 2007. As always, the baby Jesus was surrounded by human-sized figures of Our Lady and St. Joseph. But this scene was not taking place in Bethlehem, but in Nazareth. According to the Gospel of Matthew, St. Joseph lived in that city and went to live there with Our Lady when they got married. The Vatican's nativity scene of 2012 was inspired in the Italian city of Matera. More than 100 figures were needed to represent the birth of Jesus. The scenes of the Annunciation and the visit of Our Lady to Elizabeth were also added. In 2012, Pope Benedict XVI published his book on the childhood of Jesus. He said that the Gospel does not specify if there were any animals in the crib where Jesus was born. In the Vatican's nativity scene of that year, they were slightly put aside. But maybe the Vatican's best nativity scene ever was the first of Pope Francis' pontificate. Italian Saint Vicente Palotti designed it in 1842. Everyone knows that the tradition of creating nativity scenes was first born in Italy, and within Italy itself, the cribs that follow the Naples tradition are said to be the best. Thousands of people see the Vatican's nativity scene during Christmas, the Pope as well. He usually goes to St. Peter's Square to see it on December 31st, when Rome is usually very quiet.